Sean McLaughlin, CEO of Alaska Gear Company here, and we're gonna to talk to you about our uh, bush wheels today. Um, I have with me Madeline, uh, one of our engineers from R&D to help me explain it. How you doing, Madeline? I'm doing good, yeah. And between the two of us, we're gonna just you know, uh, uh, impart to you some new information about our, our bush wheels. Uh, this has been about three years in the making, some of these design changes. Again, everything in aviation moves slowly for good reason, um, but we're pretty excited about these. and. Um, and so I'm gonna have Madeline kind of explain some of them to you. What we know from the bush wheels is we have years and years of, of warranty information. And as most of you have bush wheels know, we uh, give you a five year warranty and we prorate the warranty. If something happens to the tire in the first five years, you know, you, you get a prorated warranty towards your next tire. But we get all that data back. We analyze all those tires. If it's, a, if it's an issue that we've never seen before, we pull the tire back from the factory, we cut it or we put it on our dyno. We look and see what, what happened to kind of inform future process to see whether it was a production issue, a natural wear and tear issue, or something we could do in design. So if you look at all the warranties that have happened over the last couple of years, there's one big set of warranty issues that have occurred, and they have to do with the places where we put air into the tire, what we call the service valve and the, um, what's the other one called? The spud patch. The spud patch, which is, the spud patch is where we put air into the tire when we're producing the tire. And then the service valve is where you add air to the tire uh, in when you're using the tire. And these two areas are the most common warranty errors on the tire historically. And I have Madeline here to explain probably why, and we're gonna go through it and know that kind of as of today, when you order bush wheels, you're gonna be getting this new version of the tire, and it's just you know same price, same everything, but you're gonna start seeing kind of a modified tire coming out of our factory. So Madeline, let's talk first about the spud patch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the spud patch? So the spud patch is, like you said, it is a valve that we have inside the core of the tire that is used during production to pressurize the inside of the tire. Okay. So since this is a tubeless tire, um, you don't have an, a, a secondary inner tube, um, it's all, all contained in the tire. Right, and that had spud patch is, if we looked at it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like this part right here, the final part here. I don't know if you can see that, Mr. Cameraman, but that's this is the area where the actual air goes in the tire during production. All right, and this is what it looks like when it's being laid out, right? Yes, so this is our improved spud patch here. Um, we used to have a different process where um, we would drill into the valve um, and replace it, but now we have an improved patch that um, functions a whole lot better. And so this is gets used during production, mm -hmm. then what happens? We kind of cut this top part off. Yes, yeah, so this this threaded piece is um, sheared off and then we have the plug that goes And inside. this is the new plug and then this is our new thing. So this gets stuck in here, tightened down, and then that creates it before. Yep. And before we only had the ability because of the size of it, the purchase here and the threads was very light, yes. right? Yes, yeah. And it's been that way for 20 years or whatever. Oh yeah, since yeah. they started, yeah. Okay, so this new one, um, know that we've been testing this uh, in the, we've been testing this and getting approval from the FAA for quite a while. And we think this has pretty much caused one type of leak to yep. basically go to zero on our new, our new model. And a lot of you would say, hey, my tire's losing air. I can't figure out where. <laughs> Usually the reason they can't figure it out is because it's inside the wheel halves yes. where this patch was. Yeah. And then this patch has sort of given way mm -hmm. in there. Incidentally, during production, what is the PSI? This runs at what PSI into the tire during production? Do you know? I don't know off the top of my head. I don't either. Maybe someone off camera can tell. Hey, Chris, what's our, when we're, how much, what, what air pressure do we cook the tire at? Uh, no, so yeah, so Ooh. these things are running the field like around 10, 20, yeah. during production, we're pumping 150 PSI in this tire. Insanely. So that's what this yeah. is for. And um, that's why it's different than a normal a normal um, valve. So this has been replaced. Now, the reason this thing would get weak is that, uh, or fall or falter over time was one, it didn't have a very good purchase on this thread the way it was done before, kind of old technology. But the second thing was, if you're running a low PSI tire and it spins on the wheel, yeah. you're getting aggravated kind of assault on this patch. Yeah, you get the friction between the wheel and the core of the tire. Right, and over time, that just loosens things up. And mm -hmm. so people would get these sort of invisible leaks and not know how to fix them. And um, we've got a solution for it. And your next set of tires is gonna have it in there. Yep. All right, have we said enough about that one? I think we have. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one. Yes. So now we're on the service valve here. Yes. And again, if you go into warranties, 
one of the worst. So, you know, not, I guess one of the, not one of the worst, but one of the big issues that would happen on a tire is that you would get leaking around the valve stem. Yes, the vast majority of warranties that we see are leaks around the valve stem. And it's, it's not the valve stem itself. There's a core inside that valve stem and um, that can be replaced if it is faulty. But um, the vast majority of the warranties are pinhole leaks around that valve stem there. Right, and mm -hmm. so and it's it's around in the rubber, right, in the yep, rubber of the tire. The yep. So d let me give you an example. Let me just give you a little shot about how that works. Um, so the old valve stem that was approved with this tire uh, looked like this, or service valve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and this was it. And this is an approved, if FA approved, approved part for a tire, which. You know, it's it's trusted. Yeah, the pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard. Mm -hmm. The problem with it is, if you look at it, is the amount of purchase on here for us to adhere it to the rest of the tire. Yes. It almost looks like a little weeble wobble, right? It is very weeble wobble. It's, it's yeah. weeble wobbly. So you get this thing where this is, gets has to be put in there, and then the rest of the rubber is connected to it, adhered to it, mm -hmm. and it has to hold it stout. And if you had looked at an old tire, like you know people with older tires, you could come in here and you could move this thing around. Absolutely. And it would wiggle woggle around, and especially if you're running low PSI, mm -hmm. this tire would flex, and it would flex around, and you would just develop cracks around this piece. Exactly. So what did you do to fix it? Yeah. So instead, now we have our new valve stem, the new service valve, and it has a much larger purchase area on here. So you can see this whole rubber area can be secured to Beautiful. the tire and it is much more secure and won't be giving you that wobble like you see before. Perfect, so you'll see now, like on this new one here, I can't even move this anymore. Mm -hmm. And it, you can imagine it's just connected all around here. Yep. So this very common, uh, warranty issue is, you know, again, this is one we've been working on for quite a while. We have a lot of testing on, v basically disappears. Stop. That warranty yeah. basically stopped. Um, and now all of our tires are gonna have this new setup for the spud patch and this new setup for the uh, valve stem. We're pretty excited about it. And you might say, oh, that looks pretty easy, or that looks pretty obvious, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but everything moves slowly in aviation to make yep. sure you don't step backwards when you're trying to step forwards. A um, Couple other things, this is the donut that goes in. We call it a donut, don't we? We call it a donut. We yeah. call it a donut, and in the, when we're, we're making the tire, this donut goes in here like this mm -hmm. to keep the rubber from flashing into this location. But we noticed that it has another benefit. We, you know, part of what we want to do is we don't want this thing to get hit when you're in the field and you're landing over rocks and boulders yeah. and things like that. So Madeline has also designed new fill caps. And just to be cool, when you new, buy a new tire, you're going to get them in two colors and you mm -hmm. can decide. But this new fill cap has the benefit of also doing this, which is when you put it on here, it fills the gap created by the donut on the tire. And even if you were to hit this, it can't move left, right, and try to torque itself out of the tire. So you yep. now have all of this support sort of on the outside of the tire as yep. well. Just reducing that failure risk yeah. that you get with that. So, you know, you'll know you have the new tires basically if you have these caps coming from the factory. So if you see these caps coming from the factory, you've got our new valve stems on there, which means you also have the new spud, spud patch version as well. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, these, these valve stems, are they backward compatible? They're really not, right? Because then we have to do this donut over too to make this hole better. Um, they're pretty backward compatible. They don't um, cinch down quite as well. Not as well. Yeah, so, so you really kind of have to put these on the new tires yeah. with the new, the new donut. Yes, right? the new donut. The new yeah. donut. Okay, so again, just to kind of recap here, a lot of R&D behind the scenes, making our, our tires more fault tolerant, that's tolerant than they were already. Maybe I should say that again. They make our tires more fault tolerant than they were already. Um, and it's a standard thing. It's not an upgrade or a change in price or anything like that. They'll start, they've, they've started coming from our factory like this now in all sizes. Okay. Um, so thank you for watching this video for a little update. Um, in addition, you're going to see pretty soon a new video. It has to do with our tread compound. So uh, there's been a lot of talk in the field about how we can make a, a bush wheel last longer if you do a lot of asphalt lands or maybe you know maybe wait one half of all of your trips is asphalt landing on a on a runway and the other half is in the field what can we do to make the tread last longer than it normally does that's a very very involved process too it has to do with all sorts of rubber science and mixture mm -hmm. and you know how much natural rubber is in there how much synthetic rubber what type of additives we've also looked at uv curing on the um tread and um we just got some pretty good testing information back and we have FAA approval to change uh, some of our tread 
um, compounds. And we'll be doing another video when we've, we've settled all that out. We'll be doing another video probably in a couple of months to announce that as well. Uh, but we hope to be able to come out with a longer lasting, but still very elastic tread compound. And um, I think the UV tests have come back pretty much meh, right? Like they're gonna be yeah. about the same. It's just as good UV. Just as good yeah. UV, but but better tread. Mm -hmm. And you can see us doing a bunch of different things with tread going forward as we, as we learn more about these compounds, which has taken a long time to do. Um, when these tires were first approved, you know, it was a long time ago and that data, we had to relearn a lot of things to, to move okay. forward. We had to go back to move forward. So thanks for your time. And uh, thank you, Madeline, for helping me explain it. Yeah, of course. Okay, take care.